Hey guys, uh, Zebra here doing Yesterday Complex Zone 5 at last. <laughs> um, so after the last zone where you can't really shoot out any lights, I go on an absolute mission to shoot every light I see. I'm on a, a vengeance mission to or, uh, against lights here, you know. I don't like them, <laughs> I like the darkness and so I shoot any out that I see. And uh, you'll come to realise that that is 100% uh, truth when in this video because you'll painstakingly uh, see me uh, act on it. So uh, yeah, I should attack these first two and let's put that guy into uh, a manic state of mind. He is running around like a lunatic. So I jump through the window and uh, come kill this guy from behind and then go back to uh, the uh, out this window. I always like to jump up this wall. I think it's a good position to be in for these first few kills. Um, and I always jump through and take that other guy out from behind and uh, pretty much shoot that guy in the face. And then this guy uh, walks down to investigate as well. So these first three kills are pretty routine. You know, you, like I say, you can normally jump through, kill a guy with melee, shoot the guy that's running around on the floor manically, and then get a guy with melee that comes out from under this tunnel. Um, now, um, it seems like one more is definitely coming and possibly another. So you check the sonar. And yeah, I see one kind of in the middle of the tunnel, and I see another on the just on the edge of the tunnel. I try and keep trying to mark him, but it won't let me, so I give up on that. And I see this guy walk through, so playing playing quite aggressive, shoot that guy in the face, and uh, just realise this guy seems to be walking back, and so <laughs> I peg it through here, hoping to get a drop kill on him. And um, just as I jump through this window, trying to mark him again, it just won't let me. I jump through the window, and just as I do, he sees his buddy dead on the floor, and so he. Uh, he then runs through to the other side, so again, <laughs> run back to cat and mouse here, jump through the window and wait for him to walk out for a drop kill. He's just out of reach here, but uh, he does, uh, he foolishly walks into the darkness, so uh, that's when I take him out. <laughs> and uh, oh, just football kick him in the face. That was uh, that was aggressive. I think this guy is sharing my feelings on uh, frustration against, the, against these enemies. For, uh, <laughs> they're a pain in the last few zones for me, made me uh, retry a lot. So, uh, you know, a nice brutal takedown with a kick to the face. I can, I can always appreciate that. So, uh, yep, <laughs> on my uh, personal mission to destroy all lights again, uh, sorry about this. I just wanted to be in complete darkness for uh, anyone that runs down, because sometimes there is a guy in the, uh, the next sort of area, sometimes he runs down, and sometimes he doesn't. He doesn't in this one. So, uh, kind of a waste of time, but, you know, always best to be safe than sorry. And uh, continue up the stairs, <laughs> shooting lights out as we go. Uh, normally, I'm doing this because normally there is a guy just through this doorway up here, so it's, it helps be in complete darkness, but he wasn't here this time, unfortunately. So uh, <laughs> you're probably just going to think I'm a liar, but, you know, maybe uh, maybe when you do your videos you'll see he's there, <laughs> but if he's not, I'm sorry. So it is a good idea to shoot out with these lights. You Maybe you don't have to do all the other ones before this door, but through this doorway it is a good idea to shoot out these lights. And uh, so we've got five guys left in this last zone. Um, I kind of uh, I kind of stay back in the shadows and shoot the first uh, first three people because um, as you'll see in a second, it's uh, there's like a, a a dark room here leading out into a big room, and there's two lights on the left or right of this doorway which you can't shoot out. So um, Norm, um, just get some people marked out. Normally one guy walks past this doorway, sometimes two people walk past very close together, so uh, you know, just mark out whoever comes. And I wouldn't risk a melee kill on this guy, <laughs> he's uh, standing right in the light. Um, I was hoping to get a melee kill on, it, on him as he sort of, if he walked back past this doorway in the middle, there's a bit of shadow there you could use, but as he turned around he had his flashlight on and uh, I thought he was going to spot me, so I just took him out with a headshot. Um, so that leaves one body there, and uh, these four guys remaining. I'm still uh, reluctant to walk out because uh, there's still a couple of people walking around this doorway normally. So just stay back in the shadows and be patient and wait for someone to come. So we see a guy there. I've already got three guys marked, so I can't get him marked. Um, and I was expecting that guy. Oh, I did get him marked, sorry. <laughs> um, but I was expecting that guy to come up to the right and pass this doorway. But... Um, Actually, I think that's what he does. I think it's the next guy that, uh, that puts me off. I'm not sure. Um, he gets he gets past this door without me realising anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure how he got on the left or if it's a different guy, but uh, someone's on the left now. 
and uh, he swatted the body. So I just take him out with a headshot because he he starts to shine his light down here and uh, a warning comes up. So, you know, just take him out with a headshot. It's a bit risky going on a melee kill for that guy because he's very alert as it, after he's seen the body. So um, there's still a guy on the right unmarked. Just get him marked. And um, he, for me, he notices the bodies as well. He probably will for you as well if uh, you're playing out like this. If not, someone else will probably come down and notice the bodies. Um, I was kind of not expecting him to come down because I, um, I didn't think he had last time, but then he does, he sees the body, so he comes charging in and I just take him out with a nice headshot here. I, I gave up on going for melee kills right, right about now because uh, two alert, two, two in the light, got their flashlights out, so just wait for him to walk past and shoot him. So uh, nice easy kill there. There's two guys left. You can be uh, a bit more forceful, push, breach your way into this next room now. Um, just wait for them to not be looking because um, this guy at the end, it looks like he's uh, facing me. So yeah, so just wait for him to turn around and walk off. And uh, just make sure this other guy he's walking past now isn't going to look down here when he turns his back and move forward. <laughs> nice and stealthy and get back into the cover on your right in the darkness. And just move forward to these guys in there. There's plenty of dark now, so just move forward to these guys. Um, I was hoping to execute them both at the same time, but it, they're not really close enough for it. So I figure I'll just kill one of them and I'll leave one guy in the last zone. Here we to take out. <laughs> so yeah, just ex execute this guy and wait for this last guy to walk towards you. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. Uh, you know, it really helps knowing what you guys think of the video. And um, you know, please check my channel, I've got lots of other Denial Lots videos, done all the other levels, and I've uh, got some Modern Warfare 2 videos if you're interested in anything like that, so uh, yeah, cheers guys.